kiln that are hot. That's how hot it is when I pull them out of the kiln back there. Then I transport them from there to a pit. The pit has combustible materials like straw or sawdust. When it hits that, it catches those ingredients on fire. Like, and then what that does is it releases smoke and carbon into the air. The carbon molecules will go into my clay and glazes to give me certain effects, like it'll give me some glass on these. Uh, it will give me some, some copper lusters and some crackling because the pot's hot and expanding. I'm pulling that, it starts to cool and contract, causes the glaze to crackle. The smoke will go into the crackled areas, kind of like your grandmother's old tea pitcher. And then uh, sometimes I have a little bit of copper in there. Under oxidation, copper likes to stay green like the Statue of Liberty, but if you reduce it, you get uh, copper lusters. And then, uh, and, and, and over here, so I take these out while they're hot. I don't put these in the pit. I put horse hair on them. When the horse hair hits it, the hair will burn away. As the hair burns away, it's going to singe and curl, and it leaves a carbon trail behind. Which will, and the way I lay it on there, I try to lay it on there where it's going to look like marble, spalted wood. Because the ones that go in earlier, I've only got like a two-minute window. So once going earlier, we'll go in deeper and darker. The ones that go in lighter, later, we'll go in lighter and fainter, which creates a sense of depth and a sense of movement throughout the vessel. So if you, so that's what you get there. And so then this is. A